Hi guys, glad you can make it back. Okay, so you found out that your radiator fan isn't working properly or isn't working at all and now you have to replace it. Are you going to pay for somebody else to do it? Well, it just so happens replacing a radiator fan motor is really easy and it takes very little tools. Let me show you how to do it. So let's get to work. We're looking at an engineer drawing of a fan and on the very upper left hand corner you can see the arrow is pointed towards the front or out of the car. You can see the four screws that the red arrows are pointing at. You're going to remove those screws. Once you remove the screws, you slowly pull the fan upwards and you can see the two arrows here. The fan slides into two slots. The fan at the bottom is held in by two slots. Now these two red arrows show the plugs that you need to unplug. Once you unplug the plugs, you can remove the fan completely. Okay, let's open up the hood and take a little closer look at the patient. What we're going to do is take plastic screws out here where I'm pointing at. One, two, and three. Then you're going to unsnap this cover on the right side. It tells you where to grab and pull up. It unsnaps. Do the same thing to the left side and just set the cover aside. Okay, once we got the cover off, you're going to see four screws. They're 10 millimeter screws. Each fan has two screws on top. We're only going to take the one off the passenger side because that's the easiest one to take off. The one on the driver's side is easy also. And I'll explain how you get that one out later. So we're going to take the two 10 millimeter screws out. You can move the hose aside. Just be careful not to crack it. Okay, now that we got the two screws out, you could feel that the fan is real loose. The only thing that's holding it is the tab on the bottom. There's a hole on the frame, which I'll show you later, that the tab is in. So all you have to do is lift it. It's a little hard getting out this way, so what I found, if I put the hose towards the front, or towards me, the fan comes out a lot easier. Okay, as you're pulling it out, you're going to feel that something's holding it up. And what that is, is the plug. Don't pull it out too much because you might tear the wire. You can see the plug right there where the light's at. Just pull up the tab and pull it out. Once you unplug the plug, the fan should come right out. Be careful when grabbing the fan. You don't want to crack it or bend it. Okay, you can see the fan will come right out. I'm going to stop it here. I don't really need to replace my fan. But if you wanted to remove this fan to get to the other fan, remove this one, set it aside, go to the one on the driver's side, take the two screws out and unplug, lift it up like you did the first one, and slide it over to the passenger side and remove it the same way you did the first one. So that's the only thing you have to do is just slide it over to the, where the first fan was at and take it out that way. Okay, so we're going to put our fan back in. As we slide the fan in, make sure at the bottom of the fan frame that you put the pin in that square hole there. You can see it right there at the bottom. Once you have the frame pinned in at the bottom with that bottom slot, go ahead and put your two screws in on top. Okay, once you got your two 10 millimeter screws in, go ahead and plug the fan in. Don't forget to plug that fan in. Once you got it in, this is really important. Put the hose back to where it originally was. Don't forget to do that. Now that everything's in, we're going to go ahead and snap the cover in. Don't forget your three plastic twist screws and you're done. And that's it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. Uh, it saved me a lot of money so I'm sure it's going to save you a lot of money. It's really not this hard. Believe me, it's not hard. Anyway, check out my other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on my